The University of Maryland, located on the East Coast of the United States, ranks as one of the top public research universities in the U.S. The campus has a major advantage in its proximity to downtown Washington, D.C., just eight miles away. But the University of Maryland is also home to a unique cultural and historic treasure, the Gordon W. Prang Collection. Here, on the fourth floor of the University's Hornbake Library, you'll discover a collection of astonishing proportions, acknowledged by scholars to be the most complete and valuable collection of published materials of its kind found anywhere in the world. The Prang Collection is a comprehensive accumulation of Japanese language printed materials dating from the immediate post-war period, 1945 through 1949. The contents of the Prang Collection were once the files of the Press, Pictorial and Broadcast Division of the Civil Censorship Detachment, CCD, an operating unit of the Supreme Commander of the Allied Powers, under General Douglas MacArthur. The CCD controlled information and expression among Japanese media and publishers. CCD workers reviewed and retained copies of all publications according to a press code designed to introduce the meaning and responsibilities of a free and truthful press to the Japanese and eliminate propaganda that might be harmful to the reconstruction effort. Ironically, the CCD was working to promote freedom of expression, a fundamental principle of democracy, in post-war Japan through a censorship operation by a governing culture. This is one of the many things that makes the Prang Collection so fascinating. Because of the comprehensive scope of the CCD's censorship activities, its archives eventually included one copy of virtually every single item ever submitted for publication in occupied Japan. These historical archives form the core of the Prang Collection. The censorship markings that appear on a number of the Prang Collection documents reflect broad guidelines that were uh, created, instituted, and followed by uh, reviewers uh, of the CCD. It's important to note, however, that there was some evolution during the period of time that we are talking about in terms of, of how those guidelines were actually followed and how they are reflected in the particular notations uh, in individual prank collection documents. The collection was named for the late Gordon W. Prang, a professor of history at the University of Maryland, who also served as chief historian under General MacArthur during the Allied Forces' post-war occupation of Japan. As a scholar and historian, Dr. Prang realized the historical value of the materials being censored and suppressed by the CCD. He took the line that I have a job to do and I'm going to get along with these people and I'm going to not so much ingratiate is I'm going to make it an opportunity for the, the both sides to coalesce as to this is what happened and why and why we did certain things. So he became a friend to a, a lot of these people. When the decision was made to dissolve the censorship operation in 1949 and dismantle the CCD offices, Prang negotiated to save the books, papers, magazines and other records amassed during the years of the censorship operations. Prang worked tirelessly and eventually his efforts proved to be successful as he obtained the publications for the University of Maryland and for future generations of scholars and researchers. Once Prang secured permission for the documents to be moved to the University of Maryland, inventory and packing of the materials in this vast collection began. The packing process alone took nearly two continuous years, from 1949 to 1951, the crates were then shipped across the Pacific and slowly made their way to Maryland and the University of Maryland libraries. Publications from local grassroots newsletters to popular commercial newspapers and magazines on virtually every subject area are included in the collection, from economics to literature to politics to comics and entertainment, even children's literature. The number of holdings is enormous 71,000 books and pamphlets, more than 18,000 newspapers and newsletter titles, 
nearly 14,000 magazine titles, approximately 600,000 pages of censorship documents, as well as thousands of newspaper photos and hundreds of maps and posters, approximately 1.7 million items in all. From the moment the very first documents were removed from their crates, preservation of the material became a priority. The library staff worked diligently to restore and preserve items in the collection. Because of the fragile nature of the poor quality acidic paper used for many of the documents, material in the collection has always been handled and cleaned with extreme care. In the 1990s, library staff began the daunting task of microfilming documents in the collection to further preservation efforts and make materials in the collection more accessible. But even with modern advances in climate control and storage of printed materials, preserving the Prang collection continues to be a race against time. New methods of imaging and reproduction have been enlisted. A staff of full-time scanners works at the university library to digitize documents in the collection and provide essential access to these documents through a Japanese-English website. The staff of the Prang Collection takes great pride in its careful stewardship of these important documents. Progress in preservation continues to be a priority, as well as developing new ways to share the collection's historic treasures with others throughout the world. This important work could not be possible without the generous financial support of the U.S. National Endowment for the Humanities, the National Diet Library of Japan, the Japan Foundation Center for Global Partnership, the Nippon Foundation, and individual contributions. But much work remains as the materials continue to age and we face the great risk of losing some of these rare documents. The Prank Collection is uh, a, a tremendous resource for uh, scholars, uh, for researchers, uh, and for students more generally of that period of time. Given the fact that the collection represents the nearly total publishing output for that period of time, it's a tremendous source of information for the politics of the period, which was in great transformation, for socio-economic conditions that were under equally dramatic changes. Just about every segment of Japanese life, society, and culture was affected in one way or another by the tremendous forces of change which were unleashed by uh, the conclusion of the war. What we are doing in the Prang Collection is preserving these materials, certainly for the most current generation, but for generations to come. So, in effect, we are ensuring each generation's ability to bring their own perspective, to make their own assessments. The historical importance of the Prang Collection cannot be overstated. No other collection in the world offers such comprehensive documentation of the people, politics, and pulse of post-World War II Japan. It reveals countless aspects of a critically important but largely unstudied period of Japanese history. Lessons learned from the collection serve to deepen our understanding of the impact and influence of governing cultures throughout history. I think my father would be very pleased uh, with with what the University of Maryland has done with this collection. We invite you to explore and learn from the unique and irreplaceable documents found in the Prang Collection and discover why so many have worked for so long to preserve these precious archives for many generations to come. With your help, the materials in the Prang Collection will continue to be preserved so that future generations can learn from this irreplaceable cultural resource.